and I had a chance to go down to the Science Center last week to see everything they have to offer, including their Bodies Revealed exhibit. And now, just a quick warning, some of the images you're about to see might be a little bit graphic in nature. Viewer discretion is advised, but check it out. We're starting our tour not on the main floor, but near the garage in a new room. And Tracy from the Science Center, she told us what happens in this room. So we're standing inside the brand new Discovery Space Lab. It's one of five learning labs that we have here at the Science Center. We use these for schools and they can come in and do programs as part of their field trip. But the nice thing is, as part of the general public, you can come in and experience these labs as well. Bring your guests in and they can enjoy a, a planetarium type program or a program about earth science. And then you can feel free to explore the Science Center. You get your own birthday host. And it's just a really great way to make your event special. Well, after we stopped at the garage level, we went up the elevator to the first floor and we started our tour. We've got the theater behind us. Now in here, first floor, we've got the kids space. And by the way, if you get hungry later, check that out. You got the cafe over there. You got pizza, salad, sandwiches, snacks, so much food. But in here, we got kids space. I don't want to get wet right now, but that's where kids can play all day long. But they've got six floors of fun and we've got all day, so let's go exploring. All right, so we're here in the elevator. Look at this, it's a glass elevator, love it. Next stop, level four. Up on the fourth floor, we're at Bodies Revealed. It's a fascinating exhibit that uses real human bodies, not necessarily for the faint of heart, but it's a lot of fun. Speaking of fun, right over here, Forces in Motion. It's a can't miss exhibit at the Science Center, let's go. At Forces in Motion, find out what the power of the wind, magnets, and robotics can do for you while being entertained for hours. Don't miss the opportunity to sink a beach ball, too. The Sight and Sound Experience is an edgy mashup of art, music, and science. You can actually feel sound and hear light at this exhibit. And across the hall is the traveling exhibit. You can see deep inside a human body. So bodies revealed. It's a carefully preserved collection of more than 200 real bodies. It offers a truly unique view of muscles, organs, nerves, and bones. Also, there's even something in the hallway between exhibits. It's one of the newest features here at the Connecticut Science Center. It's the hot air balloon, and it's gonna show you how it's lighter than air. What you wanna do is hold down this red button. It's going to heat the air in the balloon, and you're going to hold down the green button to release. And there is literally science in motion. We took the elevator to floor five for four more exhibits. So we've got the sports lab and a picture of health right here. Fascinating stuff for people of all ages. Kids or adults are going to have fun, but that's not all. That's on the fifth floor. Come on over here. You have exploring space and the invention dimension where you can turn into an inventor. Exploring space allows you to get a real insight into the world beyond our own and an invention dimension you can learn how you could become the next great inventor by working on your own projects and by seeing some of the world's coolest inventions. Across the hall, the picture of health exhibit shows us how medicine can enhance our lives and helps us understand the importance of healthy habits. At the sports lab, you can get a whole new understanding of the games you love and you can also see firsthand why you should always wear a helmet while playing sports. One more elevator ride brings us to the top. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're at the top of the Connecticut Science Center, the sixth floor. Over here, you've got a river of life and energy city. You can learn all about the world around you, and you can even become a meteorologist for a day. But out here, it's the last weekend it's open. It's a rooftop garden. Let's go for a tour. This is Michaela's garden, and you can help people harvest all these seeds and drop them off to raise money for females in science. The rooftop's all about understanding and improving the world around us. Come inside from the great views on the roof of the Connecticut River and check out Energy City. It shows us the future of energy. Planet Earth tells us how the world was made and you can get interactive with all the animals at the River of Life. No matter what floor you're on, you'll be floored by the combination of education and entertainment at the Connecticut Science Center. 
And now I'm here live at the Connecticut Science Center in Hartford, Connecticut, where there are over 165 different hands-on exhibits. And in addition to those, there's also the traveling exhibits that change throughout the year. Now, as you could see, it's pretty easy to see how much fun you can have here. But joining me now is Tracy Shire. She's the director of marketing, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about what there is to do here at the center. Tracy, it's so nice to be with you today. Thanks for coming out to Hartford. This is a great weekend for families to come. I mean, it's always a great time, but Columbus Day weekend, great time to come to the center. It is. You have a little extra time. Finally, like from school, you definitely have that extra day off. We are open on Columbus Day. We're also open late tomorrow night, Friday, and on Saturday until 8 p.m. So if you haven't been able to find the time to come and see the Bodies Revealed exhibit and all of the other things that we have to offer, this is the perfect time. Extended hours, if you have out-of-town guests, this is the place to bring them. And for all ages, you may think it's just for, you know, the teenagers or the older crowd, but five and under, everyone is welcome to come. It is. We're, we are, um, we are really are the Science Center for, for all ages. We're seeing a lot of adults come out now for the Bodies Revealed exhibit that may not have been here before, because typically, you know, families think of coming here, um, but they'll discover Bodies Revealed and so much more. So they come for that and then they see everything else we have to offer. Fantastic 3D movies. We have um, we have a, the Butterfly movie now, which is award winning, and adults also enjoy that. And it pays to be a member here because you, there are plenty of perks when you have a membership to the Connecticut Science Center. Absolutely. Not only are you supporting science education, you're also getting unlimited visits for the entire year. We give our members fantastic perks. So you're going to get discounts on parking at the cafe, at the gift shop, have your birthday party, come to camp. Um, but you're also getting, it's 100% uh, tax deductible, and you're also getting these great perks like coming to see the exhibits before they actually open to the public. So we change out the traveling exhibit gallery three times a year. Um, so our members got to see bodies before anyone else. They get to see the movies before anyone else, and they've got lots to look forward this coming year. So buy your membership now, you get a whole year. Lost Egypt coming up in January. We're going to follow that up with a great exhibit called Mindbender Mansion. It's actually a double header because we'll also have the Mr. Potato Head exhibit. And then in the fall, um, a fantastically gross exhibit called Gross <laughs> Allergy. So um, that's all the icky things that your body does and why it does it um, based on a series of children's books. So we're really looking forward to all of those things. So a membership is a great way to bring your kids to a place where you can have fun as an adult, but your kids are having a blast and they're learning so much. And there's always something new and exciting here. So every time you come, you may see something you've never seen before. Absolutely. We're, we are always fine tuning the exhibits and adding things. It's so much that we, we usually don't have time to talk about it all. So it's a different experience every time. And Tracy, if people want more information about the Connecticut Science Center, where can they go? Definitely visit our website. We're at ctsciencecenter.org. Wonderful. Tracy, it's so nice to talk to you. Thank and you. it's always so fun to be here. Thank oh, you so much. And as Tracy did just say, you can log on to ctsciencecenter.org for more information. Connecticut Science Center in Hartford, Connecticut, where I'm standing inside the Bodies Revealed exhibit. This is the St. Francis Care Traveling traveling exhibit gallery that we're in right now. And I'm joined by Stephen, Dr. Stephen Schutzer and Kim Beekman. They are from the Connecticut Joint Replacement Institute at St. Francis. It's wonderful to be with you here today. Tell us why Connecticut Joint Replacement Institute is supporting this exhibit, Dr. Schutzer. Well, that's, that's a good question, and there, and there are several answers. One is we believe in the mission of the Science Center. Uh, to inspire lifelong learning through interactive experience and innovation. So pa patrons who come through this exhibit will be transformed by what they see. The second is we're in a new area of, uh, era of health care. It's called population management. So that docs like me who normally replace parts are actually going to be responsible for preventing patients to get to the point where they need to have it replaced. Mm -hmm. The third thing is if we can inspire young, patron, young patrons and students towards a career in health care, then I think that it's obviously worth it, that, that, uh, that endorsement. Just standing here looking around at this one room is really incredible, so I can definitely see why you'd want to support such an educational, fascinating exhibit. Now, Kim, tell us, give us a little snapshot, if you will, of Connecticut Joint Replacement Institute and what you do. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for the opportunity. What makes the Connecticut Joint Replacement Institute so special is that's all we do. Um, we're not an institute where sometimes we take care of other orthopedic problems and then sometimes joint replacement. That's purely what we focus on. We're all about the patient experience and certainly about patient outcomes. Outcomes. It's not worth going through an elective procedure if you have uh, complications afterwards. So we have a robust uh, 
research department that tracks all of our patients. Um, and everybody that you come in contact with at CGRI knows what they're doing and knows how to take care of that patient when they come. I don't know if you know this either, but joint replacement needs are on the rise and they have been for quite some time. So this problem isn't going away and we're poised to take care of the population that's coming through. And coming through this exhibit, you can really see inside the human body, which is fascinating. And Absolutely. I mean, I don't get to, to see what, what doctors see all the time, but it is a great way to really see. And what is the, what would you say is the great message that students, kids, and adults can really take from this exhibit? Dr. Schutzer, what can they really learn? About their own body. I mean, as you've just said, this gives people who are not in the medical world a chance to view things that we, we grow up with in the medical field that we see every day. The good, the bad, and some of the ugly. And if we can especially for the younger patients to see the ravages of smoking, black lung, alcohol abuse, and what it actually does to your internal organs, then it might have an impact on their, on their own personal behavior. And we think that's, that's absolutely critical. It, it, absolutely. So it's very uh, exciting to see this and just what you can learn. And just standing here with the two of you, I've learned so much about this uh, one specimen right here. So that's, it's really, really quite fascinating. So it's wonderful to be with you. Great Thank you for talking here. to us Thank today. You. And uh, we're standing here in the Bodies Revealed exhibit. Wonderful. Thank you very much. And if you want more information on the Connecticut Science Center in Hartford, Connecticut, you can log on to their website, ctsciencecenter.org. And also there's extended hours tomorrow and Saturday until 8 p.m. and also on Columbus Day until 5 p.m. Welcome back to Mass Appeal. I'm live at the Connecticut Science Center in Hartford, where you can see animals up close and personal. You can even touch them. I'm here with Eric Patrikas, and he's got some animals here with us today. Eric, um, this is cool. This yes. is really cool. I don't know if I'll hold either of them, but you're going to tell us about them. All right, so there's live science here at the center. Tell us about what people can see and do. On holidays and weekends, we do live science demonstrations where one of our visitor services staff, dressed like me, will be out on the floor doing a variety of science experiments. We work with animals like my friends DJ and Alex here. We have a bearded dragon and a black rat snake. We also have a blue-tongued skink that we'll be taking out sometimes. We also work with a turtle, and then we have other subjects subjects as well, like a Van der Graaff generator, and lots of health demos coming up too are about to be introduced. And there's the touch tank where you can yep. actually walk around and put your hands in the water mm -hmm. and really... We have a custom tank on the sixth floor filled with a bunch of indigenous critters from Long Island Sound that you can come up and learn about as well. So cool. And mm -hmm. you can ask questions about these critters and animals yep. and reptiles. Now, I'm going to ask a question uh, about these. Do they bite? No. Neither okay. of them have ever bit anyone. Anyone? Okay, nope. so I can touch Alex? Yep. Yeah, sure. This is a big step for me. Yeah. Oh, hi, so, Alex. He feels nice different than you. you think he does, right? Yeah, I thought he was going to be a lot slimier. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. And this is no. DJ. Yes, DJ. Now, tell me a little about these friends. Oh, that you well, brought. DJ, we like to tell everyone he's the most popular guy at the Science Center. You can put him on your shirt and he'll just hang out with you for a few hours and you can teach him to a bunch of people. Um, you can touch him, he's not very sharp. He is a bearded dragon from Australia, likes to eat crickets and worms and stuff like that. So he's a pretty so, cool he's guy. Pretty cool. He's looking how chilly he is. Not yeah. camera shy, that's for sure. No, he is not. And Alex is a friendly dude too? Yep, he's a black rat snake. You'll find these all over New England and they can get to about six feet long. They pretty much eat rodents, like their name would suggest. They like to climb trees, find squirrels and little guys like that. And hang out here with you. Yep, and hang out here really with us. Really cool. Yep. Now kids or adults, I suppose, too, mm -hmm. could have their birthday party here at the Connecticut Science Center. Tell yes, us more about that. we do do a birthday program where you get to book a few hours and somebody will host your party through the museum. You get to see a bunch of galleries and pick out one of the programs that we can teach to the kids. Usually they get a little something to take home with it, and it's a lot of fun. And I hear you host parties. Yes, I do. I am one of our many talented birthday hosts. <laughs> so in addition to all of the cool things here, you can also hang out with Eric exactly, yep. as well. And if you're a member of the Connecticut Science Center, you can get discounted rates for birthday mm -hmm. parties and you get a lot of other perks. Discounts on birthday parties is one of the few of the many ben benefits of membership. The many, many ben me benefits of membership. That's a yes, tongue twister. It is a tough and one. Columbus Day weekend is ahead of us, so tomorrow, mm -hmm. Saturday, hours and are until yep. 8 p.m. Also on Monday, Columbus Day as well. We will be open until 8 p.m. And you also have health demos, you said. Yep, there's going to be demos happening in the health lab, which is on the fifth floor, where you can do such things as learn about heart and heart health, and maybe Stuffy will even make an appearance. It's very popular. Stuffy? Yes, yeah, Stuffy is a giant eight-year-old boy that you unzip and show everyone the organs that are inside of him. 
got, this place just gets cooler and cooler, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Thank we got a lot of it. interesting stuff. Thanks for letting me hang out with you. It's so, no so fun. And uh, what we're seeing here is just really such a small part of what is what is here at the center. Oh, my uh -huh. gosh. <laughs> Alex. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> he wants to say something. Oh, good. I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> Eric, thank you so much. It's so nice to talk to thank you. Thank you. So much fun here at the, at the Connecticut Science Center. And you can go onto their website, ctsciencecenter.org, for more information. And again, this is the weekend to come. Kids are out of school on Monday. Come hang out at the center. Learn, have fun, kids and adults, too. We are live here at the Connecticut Science Center in Hartford. This place has something for everybody, whether you're a kid, an adult, a kid at heart. There's so much to see, and every time you come, you're sure to see something different and new that you've never seen before. They're always adding new, really cool things. I'm joined now by Melissa Aiken. She's the program coordinator. Melissa, every time I come here, I definitely something see something that I haven't seen before. Absolutely. We are always updating our exhibits for new science, for new technologies. We're always expanding upon exhibits and adding new things. Like this hot air balloon right here. Tell me more about this right here. Definitely. We added this in in September, so it's brand new, and it's a great visualization of for the concept of hot air rises. So what happens is you hit this button, and air will fill into the balloon here, mm -hmm. and as it warms up, you'll see a change in density, and as that happens, then that balloon will rise. It can go up to uh, four stories, after wow. after it heats up a bit. After it heats up. <laughs> well, this is science and action. Absolutely. You can actually see it happening. Definitely. Yeah, it's more examples of the great hands-on things that we have here for everybody. And these are things that you see in real life. So if you're driving in the car and you see a hot air balloon out on the road, your son or daughter will know, oh, hey, we saw that at the science center. I know how that works. Absolutely. So you can learn about things in life when you come here. And we just saw it rise. Yep. And it actually can go as high as four stories, you said. Yes, all the way up to the other bridge. So wherever you are in the Science Center, you can kind of see it happening live right in front of you. Just so cool. Absolutely. And now, this is something that would entertain a kid or an adult, which is the, true for a lot of the exhibits here, of course. But there's so much for those kids that are under the age of five. There are a lot of things that they can get their hands into as well. Absolutely. We have things for every age here. And for the youngest friends that we have visiting us, we have things like our kids' space water play area, which is always a big hit. We have the live animals, which you just saw. We have story time on the weekends and holidays. We have our sight and sound room where kids can play with colors and dance on the floor and things like that. And we also have lots of dinosaurs, which every kid is going to love. We have brand new ones out in our rooftop garden, actually. So no matter what age, and even if you are a little newborn, I mean, just looking around here is just really, really, they'll get engaged and they'll see a lot of exciting things. Now, Absolutely. I was talking to Tracy earlier, and she said that her three-year-old daughter loves kids space, yes. and she could stay in there for hours on end. Yes. Oh, yeah. We see kids doing that every single day. It's a great exhibit that is, has uh, puzzles that the kids can build, blocks, and there's water shooting everywhere. They can get right into it, get a little wet, and have a lot of fun. Now, Melissa, when you when you do bring your family here, can you see everything that's here in a day? I think you can. If you pace yourself and really take your time to see everything, give your kids a little rest time. We have great movies that are for younger kids. They're just 20 minutes long, and it's a great time to kind of take a break and then go back up to the exhibits and see more. And there's also the cafe, too. So yeah. When you're, after you've uh, seen a lot or not seen everything, it would be hard to do that. You could take a break, have something to drink, have something to eat, and relax. Absolutely. And there's so many other things to do in Hartford. You can go out to the park. You can go out into our brand new plaza, which has our new garden on it. So there's things right here that you can see and have a lot of fun with. And it is, it, it's not always easy to find things that the whole family can do. And this is a great place to come. Right. Absolutely. We have exhibits that cater to kids that are, you know, maybe 14, that are three year old, years old. And then we've got Bodies Revealed, which is a great hit with the older adults that are going to like this, too. Everyone, Melissa, thanks so much. It's You're so welcome. great to talk to you. I'm going to play with this hot air balloon. Definitely. Nice. Thanks so much. And if you need any more information, you can go to their website, as I said earlier, ctsciencecenter.org. They're open this Columbus Day weekend tomorrow and Saturday until 8 p.m., Columbus Day until 5 p.m., so you can have a lot of fun with your friends and family here at the center. Saying that science is fun is an understatement. It's thrilling, it's exciting, it's amazing. Right now, you can see the Bodies Revealed exhibit. It's only here until January 5th, and it is amazing. You can see what is inside all of us. But if
but that's not really your taste. There's so many different exhibits, over 165 hands-on exhibits. And if you want something for the little ones, age five and under, there's so much for them as well. Kids space, there's a dancing piano with colors and lights, and kids under age three are free. For more information, you can log on to their website, ctsciencecenter.org, and there's so much to see and do, a great way to spend time with the family.